Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and I hope you all had an absolutely awesome weekend. I had a lot of fun and I got myself a new plant so I got another blueberry so I'm quite happy with that. So <laughs> anyway I am up with Eiffel Store and for this design team haul it's all stamped so I'm going to get stuck right in and just put them down one at a time here and then move them so that there is some clarity. Now the most important thing to remember about all of these is the carrier sheet that the stamps are on because that's how AliExpress do it is four and a quarter by six and a quarter that is the size of each of these and that is the first one the I see everything as you can see with a lot of these there's a lot of vintage style to them so that's number one I will be stamping all week this one is a postcard style one you've got a divider border and a lot of script and also things like this you know you can do bits and pieces stamping and then this is the next one I'm making sure I've got these the right way around so you've got little target stamp elements like little bottle tops stamp again other lines script uh, scribbles and that is a map and then we've got some words good times congratulations stamp of approval you're the best you are someone special good times again special memories just saying hello warm fuzzies smile kick back relax just wanted to say love you more and a very good one there good luck next up we've got little square elements and ferns you've got um, the lovely pointing finger there's a clock there's more script there's some wood planks and right down at the bottom there a lovely row of numbers which would look great on a journal next up is a sewing theme so we've got sort of like the pattern going on in the background I'm just making sure there you go that's the right way around You've got um, a sort of steampunk type clock key. You've got little measuring elements and you've got your spools there. Next up we have one that is borders. And as you can see it is all borders. I actually like that one. And there you've got three little fishes swimming. Next up we have big bold numbers. Those are a nice size for fussy cutting as well so they're numbers with numbers within those numbers very steampunk you've got little gears little clock pieces as well next up uh, less is only more when more is no good how's that <laughs> we've got another eye image here lots of script postal marks and a receipt which is you know a detail of order next up we've got i'm going to put it that way around i don't know if that's a periodic table or if it's a calendar i think it goes that way yeah just to make everybody seasick light series narrow type whatever that is and then you've got other little grids with numbers and more script next up i'm going to put it down again we've got a lovely swirly baroque curly cue you've got a bird you've got a taxi steampunk you've got paris more script and that says the sun does not shine for a few trees and flowers but for the whole world's joy there we are how true is that next up we've got a lady with a birdie we've got a feather we've got a compass we've got a little star element we've got a ticket um, and that says how about a little reality check and then you've got this lovely twig element you've got a floral with the clock going on you've got floral with script and that one says what does that say yesterday is history tomorrow is a mystery today is a gift that we that we what that we call the present how's that excuse my throat next up is a large paris with a stamp and postal marks and then after that 
I love this one. You've got the uh, lovely wildflower there. You've got the songbird and fly. You've got a little element, another sort of like film strip element. You've got secret garden. You've got sort of twiggies and little birdies there. You've got take flies. You've got your bird and you've got another curly cue. So you've got that element going on there. All of these are going to be stamped and used. And then we've got more numerals. I don't know if that's a different layout. I think it might be. This has got more sort of like clock going on than steampunk. In fact, I think the other ones are one to six, aren't they? I'm just going through. Yeah, there we go. One to five and then six to ten. I found them. So there's two and it makes a whole set. Right, next up, and we have a large... Uh, pocket watch to live is so startling it leaves little time for anything else and then time and tide wait for no one and then you've got these lovely squares that you can stamp and you can also cut those apart there's a little bit that looks like the um, hand of a clock yeah that would look nice all cut apart and a little mosaic done on a card or an ATC Right, next up we have Books and Birds. A rather bedraggled bird. He's quite nice actually. He looks like a big ink splash. And then we've got a little jar of ink and an ink splash. And we've got the book. And then that's upside down, isn't it? Yeah. Free your imagination. And then free your imagination up there. I quite like that. And then we have a heart one. So we've got love going on, follow your heart, we've got love you, we've got the um, heart monitor and we've got a little heart. And then we have two people looking at each other, love is love. So you've got all those love words and butterflies, they'd actually be great, stamped on um, to the edge and then cut for a page, you know, for a journal edge and the same with the other one. Or you could do it as a card or a flap front on a page. So that's a really nice one. Got a nice defined edge to do that as well. Right, next up we have roses. And we have uh, Immortal, Forever. And down here we've got Love. You've got Barbed Wire. You've got other smaller roses. And you've got a little sort of squirrely, barocky, flowery piece. And then I think I've been sent another one that's the same. Yeah, that is the same, isn't it? So ah, I've got two of them. Hmm, right, okay. And then next up we have, let's turn it the right way around. We've got Distressed Christmas. Yeah, so we've got a few numbers and we've got some lesser in and that says distressed Christmas. I wouldn't want a, <laughs> a distressed Christmas myself. So I'm somebody who's likely to kind of chop that bit off or mask it off so that I could just stamp the Christmas. Yeah. Right. Next up we have birdies. So we've got birdies, flowers. We've got Christmas Robin here. We've got holly, sending love at Christmas. We've got robin. We've got little holly berries and we've got them in different sizes. That's a perfect size for a coin or an ATC, as is the larger one. So I really like that one. And then we've got one that says lost and found. And it's a bit sort of like computer circuitry. That's what that reminds me of. Yeah, it looks like computer circuitry, doesn't it? You've got a nice little frame. So that's another one that's great for mixed media or journaling. And then we've got another one that's got a bunch of kisses and script. And this one here says, imagine once upon a time in a land far away. You've got a few kisses and just bits that you can dot about the place. And then we've got some flowers. To live one must have sunshine, freedom and a little flower. That's quite nice, isn't it? That one says finding joy. And then this one said, let us be grateful. I'm going to hold it up to the camera. 
to the people who make us happy they are the charming gardeners who make our souls blossom we're all post and then we've got a cart post style and in the garden we find joy or well, things like that are perfect for me to live one must have sunshine freedom and a little flower that's hans christian anderson yeah i like that and then we've got lots of birdies so we've got postal type birdies and then you've got nature singing in balance and harmony art and harmony and that is, there's a little owl and then next up we have numbers so we've got numbers all over the place and then last but not least we have this one and i think that says in the cookies of life friends are the chocolate chips isn't that nice i like that yeah and that would go great with your cookie dies as well and that sanctuary is uh, absolutely gorgeous i love that that would make a great bookmark then we've got a leaf a scroll a little bit of ruler and you've got that lovely um i don't know whether that'd be a moth or a butterfly but it's like teeny tiny little words i don't think it's going to show there we go little dot lines i really like that and who knows what that says until i stamp it it might just be one of those you know sort of like scripts that's meant to blend into the background but that is what i have for you today it was all of those right so this week is going to be stamping stamping and more stamping we're going to be stamping all week so trying to come up with different ideas for stamping i thank you so much for joining me today have an absolutely awesome day and as usual all links below bye